Hi, I'm Heinbach and it's good to have you back. again to record an album for Psy Records and as usual I've picked a set of instruments to work on it. You can see my decade old OB-1 here, a plumbutter, a Nagra SN and something beautifully odd and new. What looks like a surfboard at a love affair with a CDJ is the Stuber, a member of the Din Datin Dudero band. Din Datin Dudero is a three-piece set of instruments designed by the enigmatic Peter Blasser of Seattle Lombard. He observed his toddler playing the knobs of the family stereo, which inspired him to create instruments with a very intuitive gestural control. I'm playing the banana version, but there is also a screw version that allows you to create patch connections by hand or worms. As with all Seattle Lombard instruments, the Stuber is mystifying at first and stays mystifying maybe forever, but it's also immediately rewarding because of its rich sound. It is a stereo filter with a complex modulation matrix and I use it to mix and process all the other instruments. It has two stereo mini jack inputs with the left channel going into the left filter and the right channel going to the right filter. It is very easy to add wonderful animation. It also sounds good on drums and you can completely glitch out signals.
As you can hear, chaos is always near, which is typical of all Seattle Lombard instruments. Chaos is a great tool for music, as it lies somewhere between random and predictable. Pure random is pretty uninteresting for me, as it's just random, with results being pretty sterile. Chaotic circuits allow you to play them and get a feel for what will happen over time. They create a beautiful mess. In this case, the modulation is based on the Wrangler, a chaotic shift register circuit invented by Rob Hordike. You can hear it most easily at work if you patch a trigger impulse into one of the ins next to this button. Start patching up many things and it all gets a little too wild, this button will reset the chaotic circuit. I have recorded 18 tracks so far and I still feel I'm just beginning to explore this instrument. All the patch points are androgynous and you can plug cables in freely. The color coding of the jacks that other Seattle Lombard instruments have does not apply. At least they have no meaning I can discern. Sometimes you hear a result, sometimes you don't. That is because the Stube is based on the idea that you're circuit bending the instruments as you are playing it. You're exploring what creates cool stuff and what is pointless. Same as you would when you circuit bend a toy keyboard. That said, here are some things that I found out that might help you get more out of it immediately. The jog wheels control the frequency of the filter. The knobs are the resonance. Modulation speed travels from the outside to the inside, so you can get fast modulations the closer you move in. There's a parasitic noise you can hear and it makes for fascinating modulation. That is the sound of the power supply circuit. That's normally something you don't want to hear, but it's Peter's genius that allows us to use it creatively. You can mute it by patching these two ins to the ground. That results in a smoother sound. It might be nice to keep the resonance just before it resonates. That will prevent too many high-pitched squeals. This way, if you ping it, which means sending a short trigger signal to the audio in, you can use it as a standalone instrument. If you have the banana version and want the touch fun of the studded version, just use blank banana jacks. Those work great. In general, spend time tuning it. If it's set right, there's nothing quite like it. But it's also very easy to make a bubbling, bleeping mess out of it. Like all Seattle Lombard instruments, this is not for everybody. If you're technical-minded and like labels and clear-cut instructions, this is probably not for you. I personally love it because it's playful, the wood feels fantastic and the wheels are a joy to play. Its sound is as magical as putting my hands over my ears and closing and opening them, something I used to do for hours as a child. The album of which you heard music from in this video will probably not be released until next year. But if you want an early listen, I have a track or two up on my Patreon. Thanks to everybody who follows me there. 
If you have any more questions, do leave in the comments below or visit the subreddit. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.